Hello there, how are you getting on? And welcome to episode 4 of Spider-Man. When we last left off with the previous episode, Peter had to dash from a little kind of a date with his ex Mary Jane because a call came in and that call was to let him know that the shocker is on the loose. He had just been let out in parole and he's already back to up to his old tricks. So in the little meantime between uh, episodes, I did a little bit more grinding, got a couple of more tokens explored a little bit of the city, did a lot of the stuff that'd be really boring to show on the Let's Play because I want to change up my suit. This game has so many new suits and I want to vary them kind of as much as I can. So I actually already have enough tokens to get the next suit that I want, but we'll, you know what, we'll give this, this new suit designed specifically for the game one last moment to shine before we start moving on to new suits. Oh! So we are almost there. Hang tight. 25 out of 100. Don't know what I did. Here we go. Shocker! Where are you, buddy? Ah, there you are. Hi, Herman. Seriously? Okay. And, oh yeah, we're just after him now. Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! It'll just slow me down! Wow, that's considerate. What about all the people he was injuring by blowing up all these cars? Am I meant to save them? Swing What's under! Whoa! Do you care? Actually, uh, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking. But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level. Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Oh, there! No! Ah! Come, Come on, on, get up to him. There we go. Gotcha, bud. Now let's talk. I said I'm done. Who are you working for? But he's got oh go get Honestly, after him. Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Ah no! Don't lose him. Gotta catch up. Oh! Come on. Come on, get up the front of man. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, uh, you know, it did give me a counter prompt, so it might have been uh, an opportune time to do so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, uh, no. No, you don't, son. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Go on. Take that, Spider Man. Yes! You know, gotcha! You have like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Wow, that was it. Well, I suppose Shocker is a B villain. And actually, that was fun, chasing him through the city. That was definitely better than the Kingpin fight. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Ha. <laughs> Excellent. Right, what's next game? New side mission. Looks like unlocked. I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Ah, oh, yes. It's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah, I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah. Whenever, whatever. Uh, so I he's so talking. awkward. Cool. Ah, uh, <laughs> bless you, Peter. Uh, oh, sorry, bud. You are right there. Uh, you okay, bud? Hello. Man, baby. All there we go. You got, you got a hello from Spider-Man. Uh, oh wait, hang on. I have to. Yeah, maybe get out Almost of morning. my. 
Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. There we go. Are you going into the homeless shelter to get some food? God damn it, Peter. I suppose he is a bit uh, down on his luck when it comes to funds, though. So we'll let this slide. Bagel! Love it. And, oh wow, he's just going to sit there on his, f I suppose he's on his phone. A lot of the uh, the patience and discipline from being a superhero is gone now that we have phones. He's probably watching Mr. YouTube Lee's videos. usually in his office now. I'm probably watching my YouTube videos, like you are, like everyone should be. Okay, where did it say his office was? Somewhere over here? Through the kitchen? Up the stairs? Yes. <laughs> he's going to know about the masks because he's the perpetrator. Probably shouldn't be showing this stuff in the trailers, Insomniac. Is it? Director! Here we go. Hey, bud, what do you think of this? Peter! What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where'd she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? <sighs> I don't know. Why take the risk? But nothing better, nothing gained. Oh, hello! Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Awesome. More well, Spider-Man stuff. That went about as well as I could have hoped. Hello, friends. I'm off to do Spider-Man stuff. Hey, uh, not 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 much nice. time for talking. I've got a day to save, and that day's today. Here we go. Oh yes, of course it has to load in between costume changes. Excellent. What's next on the agenda? What's the next objective? We're back in the day now, so I'm assuming that time doesn't pass kind of fluidly in the city. The depending on what point you are at the story will dictate what time of day it is. Maybe it'll become fluid after you beat the main campaign or something. Okay, what's next? Hello? Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little Spidey work out in the city. Okay, you got it, Spider-Man. You know what? We're going to finally look at one of those side quests because we should be near to one. What's that? Oh, a fist kite out. What, what's the name of this one? Spider-Man P.I. I like the sound of that. Okay. I bet you just like in uh, just like, just like in a previous video, when I get just close enough to start this side mission, I'm going to get a call from uh, the uh, auto and tell me, ah, oh, swing by the lab. But no, it'll be too late, hopefully, because we're almost there. And I am curious because I've heard I've heard positive things about the uh, side quests. Apparently, they're they're quite entertaining. Also, you may have noticed I haven't been spending my upgrade points because I think that's what triggered the let's get the main story rolling in that last video. Which made it such a bloody train wreck. Yes, almost there. Don't you dare call me Otto. Yes. Oh, we made it. Spider-Man, yes. I need help. Ah, here we go. Oh, Aunt May, hang on. Peter, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. 
I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Love you too, Aunt May. All right, let's get on with this quest. Just a oh, sorry, everyone. Let me wave. No problem, webhead. Uh, nice weather, huh? Yeah. Hello? Oh, Peter. It's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I didn't forget, forget. I just, uh, I'll be there soon. This tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> what a game! What a game! Track of time. Why even mention this whole, oh, we'll give you time to explore the city? I barely had time to even get to my destination, and then on the phone's ringing. I guess this makes it like the most accurate to real life Spider Man game. Hell, even Life Simulator. Just about to get stuff done, and boom, phone rings. What do you want? Busy. Helping random people in the park. Attention all units. We have a possible kidnapping. No, I'm not, I don't care about that kidnapping. Over. Dead. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Easy. Nice land. There we go. So what's this? Honestly, going into this episode, I was expecting something a bit longer with the shocker, but... Well, very, very Parker heavy. But it's good. I do like the inter interactions between himself and MJ. And himself and Aunt May. And himself and uh, Dr. Octavius. Oh, I've got the coat back on. Alright. Get in there. What are we doing? S science. In the name of science, I command this door to open. So How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak uh -oh. of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. <sighs> Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... But I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Ah, That was excellent. 
because we'd seen about Oscorp, we'd heard, seen the name Norman on a file. So I, I, I have been wondering, as I mentioned, like where everyone's at because he's been Spider-Man for like eight years, but then you see um, Otto Octavius doesn't have his arms yet, or is, he's not Dr. Octopus yet. And is Norman Osborn the Green Goblin yet? Or has he been the Green Goblin and no longer <laughs> the Green Goblin anymore? Questions. Questions that will have to be answered, unfortunately, at another time. And if you're looking at this video thinking, wow, it's a lot shorter compared to the previous episodes. Uh, yes, it is. But if you may note it from episodes one and two, I'm trying to keep these under half an hour. And with episode three, because of the timing and the pacing, I have to go way over. And I'm trying my best to budget my time um, to actually quite some success for the last couple of <coughs> uh, days. Uh, so I'm going to have to make this video shorter to kind of compensate from that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, feel free to like this video if you enjoyed it. I want to hear from you in the comments section or on my Twitter page, which the link to that will be in the description. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you want to see how the story progresses. I've been Jay and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.